y'all welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're gonna make some nachos okay so i got the ground beef you know we need the ground beef i got the shredded lettuce cheddar cheese then i got the fiesta blend i got some beef fajitas this is the brand i got i got the nachos i mean the um doritos it's the spicy kind i didn't need to get the spice kind but you know it is what it is. I got my hot sauce, which I might not use since we got a spicy chip. I don't need my ass burning. So we got the seasoned salt, garlic powder, freeze-dried chives, and then we got some rotel as well. I also got my onions and peppers over there. So first we are going to cook the ground beef, right? And then we are going to saute the onion and the green pepper and then we're gonna add the fajita beef. Okay, because it's in this packaging, so which means it's already cooked. It just needs to be warmed up because it's in this type of package. It's not raw. So that's what we're gonna do. And y'all know we need the lettuce and cheese for last. So we're gonna move the lettuce and the cheese and these Doritos. So we're probably gonna use about this much. This much? We're not gonna use too much. We're probably gonna use about this much. Right, right here. Um, because I want to make a different type of dip for another video on a different day. So, we're going to go ahead and oil up our pans. I just bought a brand new Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a chauffeur. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Getting wise, I had my money getting older. I that bitch, I ain't even going to hold it. I that bitch, and I thought that it told me. That bitch. Okay, so all I'm doing right now is oiling both of my pans and I'm going to cook some of the ground beef and I am going to cook all of the beef fajitas in different pans. Like I said, the beef fajitas just need to be warmed up. The ground beef need to be cooked, cooked. So I started them off in separate pots, but I am going to end up combining them after they're done cooking. I did season the ground beef with some garlic powder, regular seasoning, and I also added some chives. I did this to add some flavor. You can put any seasoning that you want to. I did not add seasoning to the beef fajitas because once again, they are already cooked and pre-seasoned, so I don't have to do much to them.
while that's cooking i'm going to start to cut up my onions and my green bell pepper i did not use the entire green bell pepper and i did not use the entire onion i used about half of both so that's what i'm doing now is just cutting it so i can get ready to saute the bell pepper and onions I'm sorry you guys can't see, but right now I am combining the two meats because the ground beef is now fully cooked and the fajitas are done being warmed up. So I'm going to use the pot that is now empty to saute the onions and green bell peppers. And while the onions and green peppers are cooking in this um, pan, I also added some onion powder to the peppers and onions. Um, while these are cooking or sauteing, I also added some rotel just so they can all sit and cook together.
While that's cooking, I am going to drain all that extra grease out of the fajitas and the ground beef. And I'm going to end up putting it back in that same pot. Just I just didn't want that much grease onto the chips and stuff. So that's what we're doing. We're draining all that extra juice. I'm glad I got my AirPods in. I would have kept that in the video, boy. Now I'm gonna get my pan ready for my nachos or Doritos to start layering everything out. I wanted to use a pan because there wasn't anything else that I could use to put in the oven. So that's where we're just gonna use the pan and put some luma foil on it. And I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on the luma foil so the chips don't stick to the foil. So I did put a little bit of oil. I tried to put as little as possible as I could. Now I'm about to just start layering. Um, it don't matter what or order you layer your chips. You just layer it to your liking. I think I, I just went in random order. As long as the chips, meat, cheese, you know, the onions and stuff. I just, I didn't go in a certain order. But y'all gonna watch me layer these chips, okay? Mmm. They look too good, y'all. Okay. And I'm, it's 
only for one person. I'm fat as fuck. We about to take it out. We about to take it out. Oh shit, my bad. We about to take it out. About to take it out. Hey, we about to take it out. About to take it up. But, but to take it up. About to take it up. About to take it out. About, about. Oh, oh, hold on. Let me put the hair back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Focus now, focus, focus. Fuck this up. Oh my god. I want to put this on the thing. I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, I gotta take a picture. I gotta take a picture. Make a plate, about to make a plate. Hey, look at that, y'all. So we about to scoop this onto a plate. I think I want to get a, try to get a spatula. Mmm. Mmm, baby. Look at my plate. Mm. We're about to give it a little try. Y'all know how I do. Alright, I want some with some cheese and stuff on it. This is good. This is really good. Cheese. Lettuce. I don't do sour cream, so. I got some, but. I like sour cream. Yeah, I don't like sour cream, so we're not gonna use it. But anyways, I hope y'all like the video because it's good. Mmm. Gotta get some of that fajita right there with the cheese and stuff. Mmm. Mmm. It was good. So, I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be posting once a week. If not more than once a week. We're coming back to back to back to back to back with these videos, you guys. So, I hope you guys are liking the content and enjoying me putting them out as much as I am, you know, trying to stay consistent. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Y'all stay safe. Keep your mask on. Keep your hands washed. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.